Well, uh, this is a bit different. Um, so my work schedule is getting more and more strict. And despite me asking for time off, I am not getting it. So uh, I can't do big edited videos anymore like the No Sword video. However, I will make a change and I will be doing just this. Whatever Bloodborne runs I'm doing or if I play Sekiro or Elden Ring, I'll be making video series out of them. Uh, so weapon reviews I guess will be on hold till I have time to do them. Uh, it's a shame, but yeah. So, oh that's great damage. Uh, I had just, I've just picked up this weapon. I haven't done anything around here yet. I killed Cleric Beast, Gascoin, uh, and Bloodstar Beast and Vicar Amelia. So we are going to go on the hunt now with the Beast Cutter. This will be part one because it's my first time with the weapon. Oh my god, it's so slow. Alright, let's not die. But yeah, I'm just going to record myself playing chunks of the game. And then from there, I guess I'll just be, you know, editing it together. So I've been putting off using the, these weapons because I'm doing this and then the threaded cane. Uh, I have been putting off using these weapons for a very long time and for a very simple reason. Uh, they suck. What kind of rally am I looking at? Oh my god, it's terrible. Uh, does it get better rally when untricked, I wonder? Alright, get hit. Now let's see. <clears throat> okay. Rally is better when untricked. I'll take that. That's good. Oh, that's so satisfying, though. How much damage does that do to my weapon? 223. Alright, let's check this. 222. Yes, say yes, sir. 221. Is it, this is this is like the fastest way to break a weapon, right? Like the range is cool and all, but man, it is not worth it for that scaling because these this weapon scales terribly. I'm assuming that this version scales decently. I mean, it's a it's a it's a serrated club, so surely it's decent. However, this is going to be terrible, but. As part of the run, I have to try to use both. Also, this is my Heisenberg cosplay from Resident Evil 8. Uh, I just kind of went with the Chart Hunter set because I love it. I think I did decent, okay. I don't spend a lot of time in character creation. But I think I did alright. Usually I just name weapons after, I mean I just name characters after whatever weapon they're using. Oh, that, that's not even a ranged attack, that's just a, <laughs> that's just a close range melee. <laughs> So I think the, w the way to go with it when it's tricked is against one target, you use this. You use heavies. And then against multiple, you use that. Okay. We can get something going here. I could death cam skip, but I won't do that. Not death cam skip, death cam glitch. I guess there's no point in it though since I've killed Amelia because the whole purpose of that is like to uh, be able to like get to Rom without killing Amelia. But I guess there's no point in that since I've already killed her. Now I can't promise how entertaining this this whole thing's gonna be because like the joy of watching people play Souls games is oh they're you know seeing their reactions to these things for the first time. Uh, it's so exciting seeing how, what they think of this or how they deal with this issue. Um, I have played Bloodborne 20... This, this is my 27th playthrough. I better stick to the club for a lot of encounters. During bosses, I'm definitely going to be using the club version. Boom. What are some topics I can talk about? Oh, yeah, I know. Suicide Squad. Uh, so Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, got delayed. And, like... As, as, as much as I can see the good intentions behind that, it's only an eight month delay. We would need like, oh I didn't, I thought I meant to turn that. Uh, we would need like an indefinite delay to see any kind of major changes made to this game. Like, everything that people disapproved of in that state of play cannot be fixed in, in eight months. Because you would need to make a fundamentally different game to fix those issues.
and I don't think I need to tell you that it takes more than uh, eight months to fix like the core mechanics of a game. And like, I think that the re <laughs> I think that the reason what the game is the way it is is kind of clear. Uh, it's because of like it was it was in development way back when battle royales were super popular, and then just got delayed into oblivion. Or not battle royales, like games as a service, like Fortnite was really popping off, PUBG, Overwatch, like all these things, these really big games as a service games with the battle passes and everything. It was just, it was the time that it went into development, and now it's, and now it's at a time where everybody is so sick and tired of that sort of thing. It's just this eight month delay. While it's good to see that they're listening. It's not going to do anything. It's really not. This game is going to launch and it's going to be Avengers 2.0. Die. Kill that. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's really good to see that they're listening to people's disapproval of that game but I mean at the end of the day it it's too late right and this is the problem I saw I, I was telling my friend Will who got me into these uh, who got me into Bloodborne I was telling him this issue this is back before they ever like revealed much gameplay of this but I told him I said they're waiting way too late to market this game if if they start showing gameplay and people don't like it you're gonna be too late to fix it uh, and I, I told him this and he agreed that that it's it's gonna be way too late and uh, to fix this game and sure enough I was right because I'm always right you have to know this when I make a prediction about something in the games industry it is a matter of when not if it is a matter of when I am proven right because I, I'm just always correct it's like that that game got revealed back in 2020 I think and then it got and then they said oh coming 2022 I said ah oh, that's not good I said, that's a long ways away. You're going to kill this game, like, immediately. I said, it's going to be dead on arrival. Because it's just so... Because I could tell right away, like, what kind of game it probably would be. And sure enough, I was right on what game it would be. And then I was right that it would be outdated by the time it came out. And then I was right that when they finally did show gameplay of what the game is, it was going to be too late. You were going to be in too deep in development to fix it. And sure enough, I'm so glad that I'm always right. Oh, that's sick. I gotta use that attack more. What is this? Okay, so that's a forward sweep. And then this, this is a thrust? <laughs> that's crazy. That's a cool, that's a cool attack though. It's a really long thrust. I wonder if it counts as a thrust. I doubt it. I don't know. I have to find like a can or something to test it on. But yeah, I said back in the day, I said, this is not good, man. It, maybe it was 2019 that the game got revealed. But the point is, I said, I said that they revealed the game. Uh, here's the thing. They revealed the game too early. And then they waited too late to show gameplay. Oh, that's not good. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but it makes sense. I'm telling you, it does. They revealed their game way too early. You do not reveal a game and say, oh, by the way, this game's coming out in three years. Because, <laughs> like, when, while it said 2022, I saw that and said, uh-huh, yeah. Because you totally planned that this will be completely done in two years. No. You're, you're not properly assessing how long this is going to take. This game is going to take at least three more years to come out. Because that's how it always goes. I mean, that, that's what happened with Pragmata. Pragmata got revealed in 2020 and said, coming 2022. What happened? It got delayed into 2023. And now we are about ha we're almost halfway into 2023 and I've heard nothing on Pragmata. So, like, that's, you can always tell it, right? When a game is revealed and sets its release window for two years later... It, expect it at the bare minimum of three years later, right? You know what? I'm actually not going to fight Henrik. 
That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> I will wait. I guess I can talk about, like, Breath of the Wild 2 or Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Continue. What is this? Is this a strength or skill weapon? It's a, it's a strength weapon. Eh. I think I'm gonna focus on getting, like, a, a bit more health right now. Uh, okay, let's go to Hemwick. Uh, but yeah, Tears of, Tears of the Kingdom. Now, <laughs> I proclaim myself as a Breath of the Wild hater, which, that's not exactly true. I am not a Breath of the Wild enjoyer. I'm not a hater, I am simply not an enjoyer. Uh, like, when I was younger, I really liked open world games, but now that I am older and do not have time to play, like, in a huge, massive open world, um... I do not enjoy open world games anymore. <laughs> like, it's what's stopping me from playing The Witcher 3, simply because it's so huge. Like, it is such a huge open world game. I just don't want to commit myself to it. I'm just, I'm just not into open world games anymore. And Tears of the Kingdom being open world, it being the way Breath of the Wild is, is just exactly what I don't want. Because I know a lot of people really loved the way that game and Elden Ring did its open worlds. It's like, you can make your own adventure, but it's like, listen, listen, dude, I don't have time to make my own adventure. Like, don't hold my hand through the game, but at least, like, tell me where to go. <laughs> and that's just why I don't like it. Like, I'm not a hater of the game, but I don't think the game is bad. It's just, like, it's not for me, because I just, I don't have time. I don't have time for a make your own adventure game. I, I don't. Oh. I don't fight these things that often. I can just range them out though. Ugh. Yeah, I, I just, I just straight up don't have time for the type of game that Breath, that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom uh, is I just I just don't have time for it. And the only the only thing I would proclaim myself a hater of would be some would be like the Naughty Dog games. I think Naughty Dog is the most overrated developer. It like period point blank not even close. Like outside of The Last of Us One, the games they make are so average. <laughs> it's just it's painful. I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, I died. Yeah, I saw that coming. I tried to get some use out of the beast cutter and use its long range against enemies. It did not work. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those playthroughs. This is gonna be, this is gonna be cause parasite too right here. That's what this is. But yeah, I just don't like Naughty Dog games. I just, I just don't like them. And like, that, that isn't even a matter of like, oh, it's just not for me. That's like, no, I just don't think they're that good. Like, I, I like to, the way I refer to, Na like, the way I talk about Naughty Dog fans, like, I like to say, I like to call it the Naughty Dog Stockholm Syndrome. Like, you get so accustomed to the garbage, to, like, to the mid that you're fed, that you think it's a masterpiece. <laughs> Again, it's not bad. Like... I don't think, like, for most of them, I don't think most of them are bad games, except Uncharted 1. Uncharted 1 is objectively terrible. Uh, I, like, back in the day, it was good, right? Back in the day, it was, but you want to know a game that ages like milk? It is that game. Oh, come on! God, this weapon sucks! Like, I can't use it to kill things. I'm getting my 20k echoes back. I don't care. How many how many echoes did I have when I died? Let me check. I'm getting my 13k echoes back. I don't care. I'll go, in, I'll go into the cum chalice, get the 83k, sell what I don't need, or just sell everything, or buy stuff. 
to get me back up to uh to get me back down to 13k and then continue from there. I don't care. <laughs> There we go. That's like right around what I had when I died. God, look how much better it is now. I can actually kill things with the weapon. This is significantly more fun. You know why? Because I'm using a weapon that can actually kill things. <laughs> this is useless. Go and die! That's funny. You were not the first to tell me that. And I have definitely said it to my boss at work a couple times. <laughs> There's gonna be like an extremely small minority of beast cutter enjoyers that are like, Dude, no! You just have to jam it correctly and it could be decent. It's like, ah yes, if I jam it correctly then it can do the damage that Chikage can do when jammed incorrectly. Like, my, my issue with a lot of weapons is, like, like, yeah, you can get some pretty impressive damage numbers if you jam it right. And, like, do everything just right to make the weapon usable, but it's, like, like, if you have a dozen weapons that can do that same thing, but much easier, then they are by default better than the other one. Like, for example... The Amygdalan Arm. Uh, if gem correctly, that can be a beast of a strength weapon, no doubt, man. Amygdalan Arm can look really good. Uh, but the issue is, like, you have to put so much work into it uh, to get that out of it. Whereas you could, like, you could just play all willy-nilly with, like, a Kirk Hammer or something and get that same damage. But you get more, jeez. The, the Kirk Hammer does way more damage than the Amygdalan Arm does in a lot of situations. So does the Boom Hammer, the, the Whirligig Saw, uh, the Ludwig Holy Blade. <clears throat> and I mean, it's a different stat, but like, Bloodletter can do that same damage, but like... That's another weapon, like, I see a lot of people really love the Bloodletter, but it's like... Okay, I gemmed it correctly, and now it still does less damage than my Chikage. <laughs> Okay, cool. <clears throat> like, if your weapon, like, if the weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, it better have one crazy moveset. And that's why, like, the Beast Hunter safe is my favorite weapon, because while it doesn't do a ton of damage, the moveset on that thing is just so crazy. I'll show, I'll, I'll show. Also, it's just a better version of the Blades of Mercy. There, I said it. Maybe, I, <clears throat> maybe I'm spoiled. I did so many good weapons. Maybe, maybe I'm just spoiled. Granted, I didn't do them like all the good weapons in a row. I spread them out. This is a case where this could actually be useful. See, in that case, this thing was useful. Y'all ever just be thinking about your day at work and something really stupid that your boss said and wish you could just go back in time and just lay into them in every single way? I won't say where I work or who my boss is, but, like, for context on what makes my boss so frustrating and why you'll probably hear me rant about, about her and so much of this, in a lot of these videos, uh, my boss is illiterate. <laughs> she cannot read, spell, use punctuation properly, or use any kind of proper grammar. Like, she gets her thens and thans mixed up all the time. She's illiterate, completely illiterate. And then she dares speak down to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, put up on the community tab, like, hey, after this video, like, but if, hey, I need topics and questions to answer during my Bloodborne videos. What would you want me to, like, what do you want me to answer? What do you want to ask me? Stuff like that.
Ooh, that's right. I got some uh, some cursed gems. That's good. That's better. That's better. Okay, I'm I'm getting some decent gems for this point in the game. Two twenty-seven. Yeah, that damage is going up. Lord. It is 83 degrees in this room, and I can't turn on the AC because it'll like, completely override my voice. You won't be able to hear me in the slightest. Whoop. It's just so satisfying. Is my vitality high enough? I Do I just die to a gunshot? All right, well, we start this off right the way we always do. I'm chat. No, no, no. Ugh. No. Eileen. Actually, have one more spot in Cathedral Ward. I have it done. Let's go do that. Having to be like blocked off from your weapon's transformation in Bloodborne feels terrible. If there's one compliment I guess I can give the Cause Parasite, uh, it definitely makes that transformation very important. You know why? Because the weapon sucks in both forms. It's just moderately better. Uh, when tricked. Damn. I hate Ludwig's rifle. The range is so crazy. I'm actually just gonna sit right here. Hey, yo. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Ow. Ow. This is what I get. I'm using the trick version. This is what I get. I'm telling you, nothing good comes from the trick version of this weapon. I can't even hit him through the tree. Look at that. You know what's crazy? I could have done that with the untrick version. You know, I don't need I don't need to play scared with this guy. Yeah, I figured he could block that. This weapon's not heavy enough to break that shield. <laughs> Can't break this shield. Comment from Power. Any tips on killing Rom fast? I don't have any problems with. I'm laying on his being slow. I don't have any problems with him. It's a her, okay? Jeez. Power, how dare you misgender Rom the vacuous spider? Rom is a she. <laughs> uh, I don't have any problems with her. It's just I'm not patient enough. I mean. That's just a matter of preference if you want to just run in there and attack her and hope you can kill her. I mean, that's all there is to it. Not really much, like, advice there. Uh, I mean, I would always recommend just killing the spiders first. It just makes it easy. Wait, I'm wearing the gas coin hat. Does this mean I can talk to her? I'm afraid not. Kill the woman. Ow. That was close. Ow. Bro, could you stop spamming your jump attack? Jesus. I've 
I've come across an Elden Ring player, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go about this very quick. You know why? Because I'm getting tired of recording. <laughs> um, in case it's not clear, I am much better at Sekiro than I am at, at I'm much better at Sekiro than I am at Bloodborne. Despite my channel being all about Bloodborne, uh, Sekiro is definitely the Souls game I'm best at. Too early. God, Parl is so easy. Ah. That was easy. I have 30, 30 HP, that's pretty decent. Uh, moon, air, communion. Alright, well, that's, that's, actually, hold on a second, let me buy some at the inside shop. One of those. One of those. A bunch of those. Boom. Can I level up again? I doubt it. Pressure takes like 23k. Oh, I can. Wired. Alright. Uh, that's gonna do it. I'm tired of I'm tired of recording. Hopefully people are hopefully people are happy with this. Uh, I can't stream. I can't do how we edit videos, so this will have to do. Uh, I'm gonna make a community post to see like what I should talk about in the next one. So let me know in this, in the comments of this, and in, uh, under the comments of that. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm sweating. It is hot in here. I need to turn the AC on. Uh, that's gonna do it. <laughs>